So now let me introduce you to one of the most amazing things that Flask provides, which is called template uh, inheritance. So this technique that is uh, provided by Flask will let us uh, create the code only once and then use it in many other uh, files. So now we have index.html, right? But what if we want, suppose that you want to uh, have other pages in your website. The uh, first option to have other uh, pages is to copy the same exact code over and over and over again and just change the content. But this is not useful for many reasons. One of the reasons is because it's going to slow our website because you would have, uh, the user would have to um, reload the page, the complete HTML code for each single page he or she goes to. But this technique would let us uh, save uh, and reduce the time that is needed to reload the page and also it's gonna save us some time because you don't have to, to copy the complete code over and over again. You only have the code once and then you can use it one uh, many times, not even one more time but many many times. So how can we accomplish that? Well, suppose that in your template here, in your templates here, suppose that you want to have another page here. So I'm going to create here another page and, and then I'm going to uh, name that page simple, simple.html. And suppose that you want in this simple.html, you want to have the same exact code except for the content. So as I told you, the first option is to copy the complete code and paste it here. But this is, again, it's not useful. So the other option is by using the inheritance that is given by a flask. So how can we use the inheritance? Well, here in the end, in, in the uh, simple.html, what you can do is that you can add here uh, curly braces and then, and then uh, percentages. And then between these, you can say extends and then the name of the template or the name of the file that you want to extend. So the file that I want, I want to extend, obviously, is the index.html. So I'm going to say here index.html. And then I'm going to add here uh, quotes. Don't forget the quotes. You must surround this with the quotes, index.html inside quotes. And then now if you save and uh, head on over to, index, to the index.py and create a link or root for this uh, simple. So I'm going to here create a new root called called uh, simple, so I'm going to say app, app, and then dot root, and then I'm going to here say for slash simple, and then def simple, simple, and then I'm going to return, return, return render template, return render template, and then I'm going to return the simple dot html. Now, if you save and head on over back to the browser and uh, go to the simple uh, root, so here in the browser, if I go to the forward slash simple, guess what? Let me hit enter. Guess what? What's going to happen is that it's going to return the same exact page. Why? Because here, what I what I told what I told uh, Flask, I told Flask, hey Flask. Now that we have this index that uh, HTML, what I want you to do is that I want you to copy this code and paste it here. So what, what Flask has done is that it just has copied the complete code from the index.html and it has pasted that code in the, in the simple.html. But you cannot see that. It's, it has happened, but you can't see that. It's just ha it's happening behind the scenes. So this line of code index, um, this line of code uh, extends index.html is basically going to copy the complete code from from that uh, from that specified uh, file and paste it here and it's just going going to uh, copy the complete code and paste it here and then it's going to return that uh, page. So now we know how to uh, kind of extend a specific template.